What's going on gamers? The Red Dragon here and we are taking an in-depth look at the radio beacon. So what I want to do is I'm going to talk about each little thing that you can do with the radio beacon and also demonstrate it for you so you've got a clear view of how to use the radio beacon. Uh, first thing we're going to do is select the recon class. That's what it is and you have this right at the beginning so it's not like you have to unlock it. We're going to go ahead and set it out in the open. Now if the radio beacon is out in the open, uh, what you can do is you will parachute in on the radio beacon. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, we're going to select the recon class again and respawn in. And what you're going to notice is once we get out on the ground, the radio beacon is no longer there. So if you spawn and lay down a beacon, you die and you respawn as a recon, the radio beacon will disappear. All right, so let's try it again. We're gonna go ahead and set it out in the open once more, but this time we're actually going to choose a different class. And what you're going to see is that the spawn beacon will remain there. So what a lot of times we do uh, as far as a team, we will throw down a radio beacon, get a good spawn point in a good location, and then select a different kit that spawn beacon will remain there the entirety of the game as long as it's not destroyed or as long as you don't spawn back in as a recon class. So that's the deal with being outside. The other deal is with the radio beacon is that you can go inside a building and lay down a radio beacon and if you do that then you will actually spawn inside the building. So both have their advantages and disadvantages. Uh, you, you might have seen my last video where I actually used it outside where I was able to parachute in behind enemy lines, sneak up behind them, that works great. But also using it inside a building also works great. So what you wanna do as far as a few tips to remember, lay it out near the objectives. And this works in Rush or Conquest, whether you are attacking or defending. Both have you close up to the action and can get you back in there and can really turn around the game. It's also great on Conquest, especially like on uh, really tight condensed map like Operation Metro, sneaking to the back or Grand Bazaar, uh, placing a radio beacon, giving your uh, team an opportunity to choose which base they want to go to. So you kind of set it out in the middle, middle of the base and have a heyday with it. A uh, few things to remember. Don't place it so close to the objectives that you're going to get caught by the enemy uh, because the enemies will see it and if they see, you know, four or five people coming out of one small little tight building, they're going to know that you've got a radio beacon in there so set it out in areas that are close but not too close and set it out in a in, in an area or building that actually has a lot of different exit points that way everybody's not running out the same door and if an enemy is looking they're not going to really pay attention and realize that maybe you have a beacon in there because you've got multiple entrances and exits that you can uh, get out of that building so you can really use this to sneak around give yourself an advantage and your team the win on multiple occasions i have no idea how many times this has helped me and my team win but i can tell you it works and it's one of the most underused tools in the game i believe and most uh, underappreciated and i think honestly it's probably uh, the number one tool and number one tip that i have for playing Battlefield 3. If you want to win, you want to be a team player, go ahead, use that first up, get that beacon out there, get a nice spawn point close to the action, and then switch over to whatever else you want to. But the recon class is very powerful in and of itself just because of this radio beacon. Hope this video helped you out. If you did, please comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.